Happy Friday, everybody. Hope you're ready to get out and enjoy the weekend. We know that we are here, and we're also looking forward to our big Mother's Day giveaway next week. And one of the great packages that come with your Mother's Day giveaway grand prize will include a $200 basket from our friends at Covered Bridges Winery. Now, speaking of Covered Bridges Winery, how about we talk to the Kevins from Covered Bridges Winery right now? Kevin Fifo, Kevin Boyle joining us right now. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, Lou. Hey, Lou. Uh, we need to find out all about your place because you are really an entertainment mecca as well as a vineyard down there over in Madison County. Uh, Kevin Boyle, let's talk with you first. You're the vineyard manager here. How long has uh, this uh, winery been around? Well, the winery's been around for uh, about 12 years. Uh, we have had grapes in the ground for about 15, so we've got pretty old vines and uh, and uh, we do produce a good portion of the grapes that we use for our wines. Um, what we don't produce our own, we, we uh, contract with local growers. So it's all Iowa product um, from uh, grape to, to finished wine. All right, uh, and Kevin, uh, you are the winemaker here. And using Iowa grapes, uh, there is a magic about using Iowa grapes, aren't there? There is. It's, it's very different than using California grapes. Um, so the grapes that we grow here um, have to be cold uh, hardy um, and have to get ripe in a very short growing season. So as a result, they tend to be a little higher in acid, um, which makes it a little bit of a challenge to work on the winemaking side. Um, so Iowa wines tend to be a little bit more fruit forward than you would think with the Czech California red. But we make phenomenal dry wines in the state of Iowa. Um, from dry reds to dry whites um, and everything you know in between on the sweetness scale. Um, right. So you know we encourage everybody to get out and um, try Iowa wines. All right, so uh, Kevin uh, Boyle, uh, if people want to come down and see what you guys have to offer, because you have more than just the wines and the really neat things there too, you also have entertainment on a regular basis too, don't you? We sure do. We sure do. We we, uh, we host a lot of uh, great uh, local musicians. Uh, bands from all over Central Iowa. Um, we also have events. I encourage you to go to our website. I cannot list all of these events, but we have we have IT classes, we have uh, art classes, uh, along with the music. So, along with a great patio, we're getting to that time of year where we can sit out in the shade and overlook the North River Valley and, and really enjoy uh, Iowa's uh, beautiful, one of the most beautiful, in my opinion, beautiful parts of the state. So, yeah, lots of entertainment, lots of music for about anybody who takes. We, we cover it all. All right. Well, I understand uh, some friends of ours are going to be performing tomorrow. The String Profits are going to be there, Bob and Catherine, and they really draw a crowd in, don't they? Yeah, they sure do. Uh, you know, um, they're both, both phenomenal musicians in their own right. You've you got Bob Ace, a Hall of Famer. Um, so, yeah, come on down. Um, we do have um, roadside, oh, is it roadside, road, roadside tacos is a food truck. I mean, serving food. So we do offer that up, uh, music up a food truck. Just about every event we do here. All right, so I, I I'll just throw one note out for tomorrow night's event, Lou. Um, that is a ticketed event, um, so you do have to get on our website and reserve a table to come down and see Bob and Catherine. Once we get later into the month, music moves outside, and uh, there's no reservations required. All right, uh, Kevin Fife, let's talk about some of the awards that we just saw. Just a whole bunch of bottles lined up with medals hanging off of them. Uh, that is pretty commonplace, isn't it? Um, I never take it for granted. Um, you know, we work, we work so hard here uh, to make sure that we can present the very best that Iowa has to offer with all of our wines. Um, that those efforts are recognized by others. Um, you know, we are very, very thankful for. Um, I think it helps show and demonstrate to the consumer because you're going out and you may not recognize the varietal names uh, of the grapes that we use and present here in Iowa. So that provides at least a little bit of a foundation and um, a quality assurance um, type of uh, proposition for the customers that are coming in and picking things up off their grocery store shelf. All right, the 2021 Iowa uh, Wine Festival hosted by Covered Bridges Winery happening on June the 27th. People looking forward to that. If people want to get more information about this or any of the activities you have going on, what is the easiest way for them to do so? CoveredBridgesWinery.com. Uh, we'll have all of our events. You can see the upcoming schedule, um, purchase tickets for any of the events that require it. For the Iowa Wine Festival, um, I'm not aware that they have links published yet. 
Um, I'm on the planning committee for that, so it's getting very close. So you can always follow that. You can always go to the Iowa Wine Growers Association website, um, and that will have links to tickets for that event, um, as well as all of the details. Planning on that, um, we're planning on having as many as 12 different wineries down here. It'll be hosted down here at Covered Bridges Winery. We will have food truck. We will have the Sons of Gladys Kravitz playing music for us all afternoon. There will be a VIP hour um, that you can get in and not have to fight the crowds to talk to your favorite winemakers. It's going to be an amazing event. Um, one hosted here and one also hosted at Park Farm Winery up in Northeast Iowa. That is awesome. So if you are yeah. not near us. Kevin's from the uh, Cover Bridges Winery. Thank you so much for joining us and thank you for being part of our Mother's Day giveaway. We really appreciate it and have yourself an awesome weekend. Thank you, you so much. You do the same.